Pacific Coast Highway in, in California, and I'm here with John Kraftcheck, and he is the President and CEO of Hyundai Motor America. Hi, Luann. Thanks for having me. It's great to be back. Thanks, John. So, John, you're one of three companies last year that actually increased your sales. Yeah. Kia was one of the others. Yeah. So, how did you guys do it? Well, we had um, a lot of things in our favor last year, and, and frankly, we were one of the brands that I think really benefited from the uncertain economic times um, that we experienced in 2009. Um, we had a great and strong product line, but we also had a lot of consumers who still needed to buy cars um, that were looking for value and security, and we were able to offer that, I think, with, with our Hyundai product line. Our, our broad definition of Hyundai Assurance, which now includes America's Best Warranty, our roadside assistance, that job loss vehicle return program, all those things work together to um, really help propel us to a pretty good sales result. Those key imperatives for us is fuel efficiency, and we've been leading the industry since 2008. Uh, we led again in 2009, and we hope to continue to lead the industry with really terrific fuel economy across all of our product lines. Our, our retail market share uh, this year is running close to 5% which is a tremendous increase. Um, and we've, we've dialed back our fleet significantly to the point now where we're significantly below industry average levels. And you're, we're only gonna get somewhere between 11, two, and maybe, if we're lucky, 12 million vehicles this year. And yet you sound like you're on track to get even more sales market share. We will hit an all-time sales record this year, and there's no question. Um, we'll set a, a total sales record, we'll set uh, a retail sales record. Um, and, and I, I'm, I'm with you on that 11-2, um, and, and I think a 12 million industry this year is completely out of the cards. And I So what, did, what was the average price for a Sonata now that you're selling? Uh, it's uh, in the $23,000 range. So it's $23,000 average price for a Sonata. Transaction price, right. Which is why they're selling so well, because you have great fuel efficiency as well with that car. Right. It's a four-cylinder, and you have a four-cylinder four turbo. We have a four-cylinder turbo right around the corner, and our very first hybrid featuring the industry's first uh, lithium polymer batteries. What made you decide on that on get, bringing out a car this big and this different from the Sonata when the yeah. Sonata is selling so well? Um, as it turns out, the, the average MSRP of a Genesis has been about $40,000, and we've been delivering a 6 to 7% uh, retail share in the mid-luxury segment against BMWs and Mercedes and Lexus. So that car has done extremely well. And it was really the success of Genesis, the fact that it won car of the year. Um, I showed you this morning how well it's done on residual value. It's, it's, it's fi at 53%. Our three-year residual value beats the brand new BMW 5 Series. It beats the brand new Infiniti. And it beats all of our domestic competition. Really amazing. Um, so that gave us enough confidence to say, you know, we do have one more car that we haven't brought to the U.S. market, the Equus. It was very popular in our home market, and we thought, why not? Um, and then we would use this opportunity to show the world one more time we can compete with the very best automakers on the planet. We fear no competitor. We respect them all, but we fear none of them. We want to sell two to 3000 a year. Um, that two to 3000 a year would put us in, roughly speaking, our very comfortable 5 to 6% market share in that segment of flagship uh, premium sedans. John, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure, Leanne. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.